hello amazing people welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm gonna take you on a step-by-step -step guide on how to re register for cgfns or apply for your credential evaluation service through cgfns in 2024 go online to google and type cgfns international once that opens click on nursing credential evaluation service because cgfns has other services now click on apply once apply opens, click on continue to CGFNS Connect portal and that will take you to a page that says applicant or authorized agent. As an applicant, it means you're doing it on your own and now you're going to create an account. But if someone does it for you, the person will apply as an authorized agent. Now click on create an account. To create an account, you use an email that you have an access to because a code will be sent there. So type in the email and confirm the email. Confirm the email with the same email above and then scroll down to click on send code. You should receive a code in your email. The code might come immediately or the code might take about two to three hours to come into the email. Once you receive this code, you will then use the, the link in your email as well as the code to continue your application. Once you log back into your email, you would see the link and this link will expire in 30 minutes. Underneath the link, you see a security code. Now you will go ahead to click on this link just so you can verify the code. Type in the code or copy and paste the code from your email, click on verify code. Once you verify, it will bring you up a message saying, welcome to CGFNS Connect. Are you an applicant authorized agent? Click on applicants and continue. The step one would be an account creation, basic information. It require you to fill in your personal information. So I'm gonna use um, a forged name, Jones Swindon, first name Jones, last name Swindon, and a date of birth, is also forged just for the purpose of this illustration. It's going to be the 1st of December, 1990. And then it will say, do you have a CGFNS ID number? The answer is no. Go ahead to accept the terms and condition. And then the next prompt is additional qualifying information. Do you have a passport? Yes. And then it's important for you to have an international passport for you to proceed with your application. So I'm going to assume the issuing country is Nigeria. You enter your passport number. And then do you have a current or valid professional healthcare license? The answer is yes. The next prompt is license information. It's going to ask you which issuing country you would use Nigeria. It's province territory you can leave it blank or type in a state then it imputes your license number proceed to the educational information this can be your bachelor's degree or your diploma the jurisdiction or country um, using nigeria and school name i'm assuming is madonna university and then the year of completion will be 2016 you can read the terms and condition and accept the terms and condition and then submit two will be your account creation and security questions so basically you need to select two security questions and the answers i would suggest writing this somewhere in your phone or in a book or taking a screenshot because when you need to log in again you'll be prompted to answer the security question so name of my pet i'd say captain and the second question i'm going to use the name of my childhood best friend and i'm going to use Julie as my childhood best friend and then the license information because we've pre-filled it already there'll be nothing to do again so click on submit and it will take us on to step three step three is basically accounts creation you just set in a login password and confirm the password and submit please try to remember the password as well as well as the security questions confirm password and submit it to log you out and ask you to log back in with your details and then click on continue the next stage will be your contact information stage you can upload your applicant's photo and edit your contact info to fill in your contact information 
please use the country where you currently reside so if you live in nigeria or you live in the uk it's important to use the actual address where you live because that's where cgfns will send you letters or information so i'm using nigeria i'll enter the street name city the states the postal code and fill in my fiscal address so there's a mailing address and there's a fiscal address for address in nigeria you may need to search for the postcode or postal zip code in the area where you reside and paste it once i'm done filling in my contact information i would go ahead and fill in your phone number so i'll use a nigerian phone number and if you have an alternate phone number you can also type in that and then click submit next stage i'm just gonna click on the shopping cart to prepare my mind for how much i'm gonna pay and i'll click on cgfns fee schedule and it will take me on to that click on credential evaluation service ces professional reports and to bring out the prices so for this application it is 485 dollars for the professional reports if you want to expedite the service it's 425 dollars and if you want to re-evaluate it's 295 dollars to process an expired application and all of that that you see the prices attached to it now we will return to my profile to continue our application is a 10 page application once my profile opens you will notice that on the left hand side there are blue prompts for us to fill this blue color signifies that those are the required informations that we need to fill in and anyone you fill in the color code will change to yellow meaning that you've completed that stage and then you can progress to the next stage moving on to filling our personal information john swindon is my name and it's already pre-filled because it's the name i had filled in during my application so other names is the name i was bearing before i got married which is kenne which is my father's name so jones is my first name and kenne is my father's name at the time when i was still in school fill that in select your gender your year of birth is already pre-filled and have you been issued a us social security number the answer is no have you ever had a background check the answer is no and which country of birth nigeria current citizenship you're gonna fill in nigeria as well and once that is done you you will fill out your first language i'm selecting english and then the language that i speak fluently i would select english and my second language, I'm going to select Igbo language. And language that, languages that I write fluently, I'm going to select English and Igbo. Profession, I would fill in registered nurse and progress to fill in my passport information. So I will put my passport ID and the country would be Nigeria. Once that is complete, you would click on next and then save changes. The next stage is employment information. In this area, I'm going to add my employment history for the past years. If you're a new graduate, click on not applicable and move forward. However, it's advisable to have at least one year work experience for you to add. So I'll proceed to add in my employment record or history. Profession, is this employment for your healthcare profession? The answer is yes employer i have just forged this hospital just for the sake of this um, explanation so real mail hospital the name of my supervisor is gracious the title should be director of nursing services that's an error not a staff nurse the address of the facility i would advise you just go on google and copy the address of the hospital just so you don't make any mistake in the address or the postal code and fill in the rest the p.o box the city what state is in the zip code and then you proceed for that to write about your job title or the position you held at the time when you were at the job so job title staff nurse and then the job status was full-time date of employment a few days of employment are you still employed with this facility the answer is yes Name at the time when employed. I have written Jones Sweden because I started working in that facility at the time when I got married. The primary language of the patient was English. Submit this and then it says wait and do not click any button while processing. Once this is done, you go on to the next stage.
I'd like to mention that you should please be mindful not to fill a date before your actual date of qualification. So because CGFNS will ask you to explain while you are working as a nurse before you got your license. If you have more than one employment record, please go ahead and add all your employment records and then click on the next stage. For the specialty certification, this is where you add your other specialties. If you're an RN, midwife, E and E nurse, ICU, this is where you add those certifications. However, I will just suggest not to add anything more than your RN because CGFNS would need you to submit transcripts for those other certifications and have your license verified for them as well. It's just a suggestion, please remember. And for you to be a nurse in the US, you only need your RN license, be it your bachelor's degrees um, certification or your three years diploma that is acceptable. The next stage is the continuing education slash revalidation stage. This is where you add other entry level professional education you've had. So for example, if you've had your RN diploma and then you went back to school for your bachelor's degree, this is where you would add that continuing education. However, if this is not applicable, click on not applicable. Select next and save your changes. The next step will be the license slash registration information. In this area, I'm going to add my license or registration details and I'm going to fill it in as a nurse practicing in Nigeria. So adding my license record, the country is Nigeria. Authority is the Nursing and Midwifery Council of Nigeria. Profession would be staff nurse or general nurse. Title in original language would be general nurse as well. For the address of the facility, please do not guess. Just go online and copy the real address of your council or your nursing council and paste it here. Once you're done filling in the address, the next question will be license renewal details. Has your license for this country ever been renewed? Yes. Date issued, you write the date and the year. August 2015. Does your license expire? Yes. Dates expired August 2026. Name on the license would be my name and my maiden name. License number, fill it in. Method of licensure, that would be national slash provincial state exam. License status active. Was the license ever restricted, suspended, or revoked? No. Submit this. And if you have another license you want to add, you can go ahead and add license record again. For now, I'm going to skip these and click on next. The next stage will be the license slash registration exams. That means the exams you wrote for your license to be issued. And to do this, click on add license examination record. Examination details, profession is registered nurse, country is Nigeria, states you can leave blank, I erroneously entered Nigeria. And then your license examination, you can write nursing council qualifying exams. Authority is nursing council of Nigeria. And again, impute the street number, and name that's the address of the facility please remember not to guess copy and paste this address once you're done writing the city abuja you would go on to the additional examination details how many times did you write this licensing examination once did you pass yes dates when you successfully completed the examination august 2015 did passing this exam result in the license the answer is yes and then click on submit. The next stage is higher slash tertiary education information. This is where you fill your associates, diploma, bachelor's, master's degree. So add higher educational record. Is this a professional educational record? Yes, educational level is entry record. Country would be Nigeria. And the name of school attended would be Maduna University. My name when I attended the school would be James Kenne, which is my name and my maiden name. And then educational type is bachelor's degree because Madonna is a private school. Did you complete or graduate from this program? Yes. 
Name of the diploma or degree slash credentials in English would be Registered Nurse Name of diploma slash degree slash credential in native language Registered Nurse Admission slash start date the month and the year would be August 2010 Completion slash the end date in the month and year will be August 2015 because it was a five-year program has this school closed? No. Has this school merged with another school? No. Address of the school attended. Remember to copy the address online and paste it just to avoid any mistake. Then click on next when this loads. It's going to bring out the general educational information. This next stage will be to complete your general educational record. And in this part, you have to put in information about your primary and your secondary school qualification. So for the primary education, that's like the first six to seven years of your educational history after nursery school. This educational history is the one that allowed you gain admission into the secondary school. And then level of education, primary and lower secondary, country, Nigeria, name of the school. I'm just going to put Ellie Learning International School. My name when I attended the school was June Skene. And did you complete or graduate from this program? Yes. Name of diploma or degree in English. First school living certificate. And name of diploma or degree credential in native language. First school living certificate. You can write no. Were you required to sit for any external examination in order for the access to be granted? Yes. Name of examining body common entrance examination. Name of certificates uh, awarded would be Junior Secondary School Living Certificate. And then the issue date, June 2001. Did you pass the examination? Yes. Admission slash start date would be September 1997. Completion slash end date, June 2001. Next question is, has this school closed or merged with another school? No. Address of the school, remember to go online, copy and paste the address and move ahead. So country, Nigeria, street number, name, this has just been generated, this doesn't exist. City has been imputed, states, postal code, and if they have any websites, if they don't have, just ignore, submit and move on to the next stage. The next stage is your secondary school qualification and that is the six years education you've had that allowed you gain admission into the university so level of education you're going to select secondary higher secondary education country is nigeria name of school attended girls secondary school name when attended the school will be jones kenner did you complete or graduate from this school yes were you required to sit for any external exam to be get granted access to higher education, yes. Admission starts date and month. September 2004. Completion end date May 2011. Sorry, I missed the part above that said, did you complete or graduate from the program? The answer is yes. It will ask you name of examining body, NECO. If you have YEC, please impute that. Name of examination certificate awarded, NECO. Issue date, June 2011. Now, I'm going to add the address of the secondary school I attended. Country is Nigeria. Copy and paste the address and type in the city. Submit. The next step is your English language proficiency test. In this area, if you have an IELTS or English test result, you can add the record. However, if you don't have an English test result, then select next and move on to the next stage. Remember that not all Board of Nursing have English language requirements. For Texas Board of Nursing, they do not require an English language test. But if you have one, you can impute it. The next stage is CGFNS Personal Profile Summary. This is where you go through all the information you filled in 
in this area you have the opportunity to change any information that is wrong or was typed wrongly edit or delete any information because once you make payments to cgfns you will not be able to make any changes anymore having gone through this you can print it out and have a look at it or if you're comfortable looking at it on screen and everything all the information are accurate and correct then go ahead and submit click on submit and transmit to cgfns you would not transmit to cgfns until you've made your payment of 485 dollars having gone through it and i'm satisfied with all the informations i've typed there's nothing for me to edit i'll go ahead submit and then make payments for purpose of this video i'm not going to make payment because this is just a demonstration video i have used right now if you've gotten to this page well done we are nearly done so click on the shopping cart and select what service you want cgfns to do and it will be the credential evaluation service cgfns like we all know has several services so click on credential evaluation service and click on next now this is going to give you two options which is the ces professional report application and ces academic report application academic is for school or professional reports is the one we are doing for licensure so click on next add recipients recipients is where cgfns is going to send your documents back then the next to be what is the purpose of this report it's for licensure is your recipient registered nurse or licensed practice nurse the answer is yes once you click on yes it will bring out another option asking you what type of license are you applying for registered nurse the states would be texas and then the state board of nursing would be texas board of nursing click submit and move on to the next stage having completed our recipients as texas the next page shows you can add another recipient but i wouldn't click on submit and then go through your credential evaluation service and select each box so this service is, is going to provide evaluation of transcripts from two schools and two licenses if you're verifying more than your rn yes the service offers that as well select the boxes the general nurse your educational information and submit the next prompt will be the terms and condition you can read the terms and condition click on i accept and have read above terms and condition go on to next and accept the attestation as well this is the attestation stage where you have proved to agree to the terms and conditions and you've certified and all of that so agree and click on next having clicked on next your order summary will come out go through your contact information again and be sure it's correct and then click on purchase i'm not going to purchase because this is a demonstration video like i said earlier however when you click on purchase it will bring you out to your bank and give you details to fill in and pay once you're done you will get a confirmation email from cgfns confirming your payments with your order number if this video was of great help to you please subscribe to my channel like comment and ask any questions thank you